Thank you for watching this demonstration video for the Teen Coder Java programming course. In just a couple of minutes, you'll understand the sorts of things that your student will accomplish. All of our courses come with self-study student textbooks. These are designed to make students really enjoy their computer experience. Students will use their textbooks and a computer to complete hands-on activities in each chapter. And this really lets them see their work come to life. Don't have computer experience yourself? No problem. We have solution guides that will give you everything you need to assist your student as they work through the course. Our solution guides contain activity notes, tests, answer keys, and complete solutions for all of the student activities. Worried that programming might be too hard for your student? Watch as we create a program in just a few seconds. So here you can see we have the Eclipse software open on the screen. And this is the free software that your student will be using to complete the projects during this course. And we're gonna create a very simple project that's going to just get the username on this computer and output it to the screen. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna add some code to our file. We're going to create a variable name called username. And now that we have that variable, we need to assign the computer's username to that variable. So we're going to do that with the system object. And we're going to use a method called get property. And the key value we're interested in is user.name. And we always end our statements in Java with a semicolon. Now we have the value, we need to output it to the screen. We're going to do that with a special object called a J option pane. And we're going to use a method called show message dialog. And we're going to tell it we're going to use this window. And our message is going to be hello with a space. And then we're going to add on our username value. And again, we end our statement with a semicolon. Now we're done adding our code. To run it, we just go up and press this play button. And when we press the play button, ask us if we want to save our project before we run it. We do, so we'll click on OK. And there is our message. You can see the hello and then my username. So this shows you how quickly you can create a Java program with just a few simple lines of code. Now we will show you the final project in this course. In this activity, the student will use their skills to create a chess-like program. In the final project for this course, the student will be putting their newfound Java skills to the test with a game called Jailbreak. In this game, one player is attempting to get the kingpin to the edge of the board, while the other player's deputies are working hard to recapture the kingpin and his henchmen. Pieces are captured when the opponent has them surrounded. In the code for the game, students will use object-oriented techniques to create each of the objects and pieces in the game. After your student completes the first semester Java programming course, they can move on to our second semester course, Android programming. In the Android course, students will learn how to create applications for Android phones, tablets, and other devices. If your student is interested in both courses, you can combine the two in our popular year pack. And this option provides an affordable year-long computer science elective. We now offer optional instructional videos that cover every chapter and lesson in the textbook. And this is ideal for students who learn better visually or who may need extra reinforcement with the material. If you need any more information or if you have additional questions, please feel free to visit our website at www.homeschoolprogramming.com. We're always willing to answer questions via email as well. Thanks for watching.